Okay. Our first story is all about language. Like, when I say the word turkey, what do you think of? Probably a big bird that people eat while arguing with their family about whether or not gender's a spectrum, right? Yeah? <laughs> well, the country of Turkey knows that's what you think about when you hear their name, and they're sick of that shit. <laughs> The country of Turkey is ready to change its name. Officials have notified the United Nations, asking that the country be referred to as Turkey, the way it's spelled and pronounced in Turkish. It's a way to disassociate its name from the bird and negative connotations that sometimes come with it. The official request follows the release of an ad campaign promoting the new name. Hey, Mom, I just landed. Oh, hello, Turkey. <laughs> hello, Turkey. Hello, Turkey, yeah! <laughs> hey! Turkey, yeah! I like this, I like this. And I, I'm willing, I'm willing to start saying Turkey, yeah. I don't mind. But I refuse to use those little dots over the U, all right? <laughs> and this has nothing to do with Turkey and everything to do with drawing a line for how many keyboards I'm willing to have on my phone. <laughs> I'm already three keyboards deep. I've got emoji keyboards, I've got my GIF keyboard, then my symbols keyboard, then a secret symbols keyboard behind that keyboard, Now I gotta add another keyboard so I can type a U with the dust and make it look like it's staring at me. It's too much! <laughs> it's too much, Turkey A. <laughs> and I know what some of you are saying right now. You're like, oh, Trevor, you don't need another keyboard. You can just hold down the U key. Yeah, but it's about the extra effort. <laughs> if you use your thumbs too much, they're gonna bulk up. I'm trying to get mine long and slender for the summer, baby. <laughs> That's right. So I'll say Turkey A, but you gotta help me help you. And not the you with the dots, Turkey A, all right? <laughs> Cause no, I, I get why Turkey's doing this. I get it. A country's name is its brand. Nobody wants their brand associated with an animal that people don't even like that much. I mean, if you're gonna get mistaken for a bird, at least let it be a bird with some flavor, some juice, you know? Like if their country was named Spicy Chicken Sandwich, <laughs> they wouldn't be changing anything. I will say, Turkey should just know this, though. Just because they got the UN to agree on this doesn't mean that people are actually gonna start calling them Turkey Yay. It's not that easy. Trust me, I know this. Back in middle school, I tried to get everyone to call me Travolva. <laughs> yeah, and they just laughed like you guys did now. <laughs> they said it was a stupid name, which I guess in retrospect it kind of was, you know? Unless you guys like it, no? Okay, you're fine. Travolva, <laughs> Travolva no is stupid, forget it. Let's move on. Wait, did someone say it was cool? No, okay. Any... <laughs> I just thought I heard someone say it is a cool... Because it could... No? All right, still no. All right. <laughs> I actually think this is a good idea. You know what? A lot of countries should be updating their names. Yeah. They can just update it to, to make it modern. You're like, this isn't the United States of America. Let's be honest. It's more like the states that barely put up with each other of America. <laughs> yeah? Every country. Like, Greece makes it sound messy, but it's not. <laughs> Hungary. What if they've eaten? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, Niger. Well, you need to change that name to be safe. <laughs> you just need to change that name to be safe. I bet you right now, they're losing a ton of white people tourism. <laughs> Cause there's a lot of white people who are too nervous to type that into Expedia. <laughs> it's just like, I'm heading to N-I-G. You know what, I'm just going to Paris. I'm just going to go to Paris. <laughs> I'm just going to Paris. I don't want any trouble here. I'm just going to Paris.